It's an interesting thing to think about that in all the art forms, photography is probably the only one that describes a creative process and the idea of taking. Making a photograph to me signifies intent with your creativity, intent with your eye, intent with your understanding of your camera to the point of where that photograph was made. Not just purely, well, it's right in front of me, so I'll take it, but yeah, there's something in front of me, but I'm gonna look beyond that and make something mine. My initial introduction to photography and understanding like what it potentially could be was early 90s, getting involved with like skateboarding, looking at magazines like Slap and Thrasher, Big Brother, Trans World, and seeing these really creative uses of photography from the people back then. They were kind of like loose and in your face, whether it was with a fisheye or telephoto lenses. Those images really kind of translated the energy of what photography can do. And I've always loved the idea of adapting and like understanding approaches and techniques for all these different subjects matters. Never having the desire to limit myself to I'm this or I'm that. So for me it's always been an appreciation of the art form as a whole and not limiting to like just one narrow lane. It's very easy, you know, this is almost any photographer, it's very easy to feel uninspired of where you live or your home, almost like you kind of take it for granted at times. So I'm learning to give myself structure, I'm learning to give myself a more targeted approach to the photographs I want to make. I'm pushing myself to focus on Los Angeles a lot. So I figured that each month just pick a destination point and go there. Don't question any other place. You're going there. That's your homework. That's your project. That's your assignment. After the first week or two, you might find yourself thinking, okay, well, I've already got these images or I've already made photographs of that. What else is there? Part of growing up skateboarding, what I was infused with was you don't want to do exactly what everyone else is doing. You didn't ride the same boards. We all respected each other, but if we were going out and like someone had the same stuff on, like we would change because pushing yourself to find individuality or creativity was key. Hearing the story of Sinistil and this amazing do-it-yourself mentality that they have of we want this, how do we apply it in a way that we can now make photographs with it? I think that's the idea of what I grew up with. I don't like being limited. I don't like being told you can't do this, you can't do that. I think it's the idea you gotta experiment and push things as far as you can go. And the, you know, the film socks that they have, the 800T and the 50D and the black and white double X stuff, I find uses for them across the board. You know, you just can't go wrong with it. And again, it's the flexibility of these films to not be limited to like just you know one stop or so above box speed that you can really go to different levels with it and still get great results. I had these opportunities to work with a bunch of great companies, Skate Mafia, Huff, The Hundreds, you know, that led to me having the opportunity to do my own company visual. I didn't want photography ever to turn into the enemy. I never wanted it to become the day job that I hate. So the beauty with visual for me, the idea of when I started it was, if I could just get by taking care of my basic bills with this thing, but it allows me to do what I love to do every day, like that to me was enough and that to me was winning. We all are familiar with the traditional exposure of you know gallery showings, and prints, but there's also another emerging way, which is through printing your stuff on apparel, skateboards, almost a do-it-yourself mentality and approach to sharing your work. Look at different lanes. Don't feel like you have to do the traditional approach. You could always find another way to make things happen for yourself. There's no trajectory of this is gonna make me this much money, this is gonna make me this famous. But the idea in life that you find something that you can do day in and day out just because it makes you happy. Very few people in life, I think, get to discover something like that. And if you found it, nurture it as much as you can, do it as much as you can. 
my photography with the broad subject matter that I can demonstrate or showcase is that don't feel limited to one thing. If it's not available, you figure out a way to make it happen for yourself. And that goes in art, that goes in business, that goes in life. My name is Steven Vanasco. I'm a photographer based out of Los Angeles, and I'm also the owner of Visual Skateboard.